We're going to the markets. We're going to the markets this early in the morning. We're going to go check out toys. I want to find toys. We're going to find toys. We're not wanna. We're gonna. We're gonna find toys. Now, this market's I haven't been to in a long time, so I don't know if it's good or if it's dog shit. But online, the posts look pretty good of the pictures, so we're going to give it a crack. Hopefully, we'll find some garage sales along the way. Now, I want to give a shout out to a viewer, Chris. Thank you very much for some information about uh, some videos that were for sale in a garage sale. Unfortunately, it was this morning. I slept in and I wouldn't have got there on time. It would have been an hour and a half drive. They did look like they had a few horror movies, but she wouldn't do any holds for me. And unfortunately, I couldn't get there in time. An hour and a half drive. I definitely would have missed out. I definitely would have missed out on some fucking goodies. So, spewing. But thanks for the information, Chris. Cheers for watching and uh, cheers for that. And anyone else wants to give me any uh, hot tips where I can get some videos and all that, please let me know. Let me know. Anyway, enough out of me fucking talking. Let's go thrifting. Let's go fucking thrifting. Let's get some toys. I want some Ninja Turtles and WWE toys. Oh. Alright, so I hadn't been to this markets for a long time, uh, but I did score because I found this guy that was selling a shit load of toys. And when I say a shit load of toys, I mean a shit load of toys. A lot of them were dirty, a lot of them were fucking ruined, a lot of them were wrecked, but there was a shit load. These little people, are they worth anything, those little people toys? So... He had 50% off a lot of his uh, stuff as well. He was way overpriced for everything. Um, a lot of dollies to start off with. A lot of dolls and Barbie dolls. I really couldn't be bothered um, doing that at that time. Because I knew I knew he was going to have some Ninja Turtles and wrestling toys. I just knew. I uh, just knew in my bones. So, he had a lot of plush toys there as well. Oh, was that a Cabbage Patch? I missed that fucking when I walked past. Anyway, um... So, I, I had a quick glance at all those uh, plush toys and 50% uh, off there. There was nothing that caught my eye, but it was uh, when I kept on walking on, I saw some, um, get rid of these fucking little uh, ponies and that. I saw these uh, action figures. He did have a bunch of Star Wars toys. Written on the box, he had a dollar. And he wanted $4 each for them, so that kind of pissed me off a little bit. I was going through them all. And they were pretty damn good ones too. I just uh, didn't have the time. Well, didn't didn't really... I did have the time to look them all up. But uh, I was more excited about the other figures that I kind of did find. I kind of forgot to go back to those actually. Um, and this is where I started frothing. I was fucking frothing. All these Ninja Turtle toys. Now, unfortunately... Um, they didn't have like Aprils and Casey Joneses and Splinters and all that. But they just had Turtles, Turtles galore. Heaps of all the new crap that I just was not interested in at all. But I did find some cool, cool old ones. Which um, I'm happy with. I don't know if I'm going to put in my collection or not. Heaps of Toy Story stuff there and uh, kids love Toy Story. Um... Had some loose pops. None of them were worth anything. I did look them up. No uh, loose pops worth anything, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping there was some horror ones there. Down in this blue box, down in the bottom here, I uh, did find a um, Rocksteady and um, this Rockman from uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, unfortunately, when I tried to buy them... Um, he said they were saved for someone else, which really pissed me off. So, um, and they were $4 each, which was a good price for those two, uh, figures. So, that's okay. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. So, look at all these boxes of figures he had. All different prices. Um, like I said, a lot of them were fucking filthy. Absolutely dirty, but, oh man, it brought back memories. Going through, uh all these boxes of toys and if you could just imagine what I found in there uh, like I said a lot of them were overpriced but then this crate of WWE figures unfortunately these ones he wanted $5 each for 
Um, with what I spent on all the other ones, didn't really have enough dosh to get any more of these ones. But, um, like I'll show you at the end all what I got, but uh, there was Val Venus. I should have looked him up because he might be worth uh, about $10, $15, but at $5 each, you know. A lot of them were dirty, a lot of them were wrecked. Uh, I should have asked him. He gave me a good good deal anyway. Uh, gave me uh, $9 off everything that I brought. Uh, $59 and he only charged me $50. That was an Owen Hart. Uh, probably should have looked up Owen Hart as well, but I got a little bit excited with all the other stuff that I did find. Um, fuck, I wish I could just take that crate. Just take that crate and sell all that shit. Which was... There's a Rocky Maivia, The Rock. $5 though. I don't know if anyone would uh, pay for that, but I'm definitely going to go back maybe next weekend and uh, have a look again. There was a Roddy Piper. I actually don't have a Roddy Piper in my collection. I should have probably grabbed that. Same with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. If you just saw that, go past. Um, charging $5. You see one of them had texture on its face. Should not have been in the $5 bin. Now, I had a little walk around here. You had heaps of Matchbox cars. Thomas the Tank Engine shit. Heaps of different uh, old school figures. Which I do find a bag of good figures in there. A little bit later on. Um, I didn't know what... Oh, that was the Crazy Frog. I uh, didn't know what um, a lot of these other figures were from. But, uh, so I couldn't really look them up. But, um, there was a lot of fucking sweet stuff there. This market's really surprised me. And this guy's, he must have paid, his $15 for a bay to sell shit. And he had about eight bays. So, I guess he thought he was going to make his money. And he made 50 bucks off me, so... Anyway, up here I found some vintage uh, WWF Hasbro, and I found some uh, nice big 1984 Rubber Hulk Hogan, which I did purchase. Very dirty, I'll show you that at the end. There was more WWF figures there, and he won $8 each for those ones, which was surprising. Uh, but a lot of those, if they were in the $5 bin, I probably would have grabbed them, because I know they were worth... Uh, money. There's a Hulk Hogan there with um, white jocks on from the 80s, but $8, a million dollar man. And I just wasn't going to pay that. I wasn't paying that. To, I just thought that was just a bit too much for the markets. That was a bit too rich. A bit greedy, buddy. A bit fucking greedy, mate. Heaps of Batmans, heaps of Power Rangers. Um, no full sets of the Power Rangers, so I didn't get the Power Rangers while I saw them, uh, because you will see what I ended up getting. But they were pretty cool. I think there was a Bomberman toy there. Heaps of Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo and Wreck-It Ralph stuff. I'd love to know where he got all these fucking toys from. He must have been either saving these toys or getting them from the tip, something like that. I don't know, but, uh, he had an absolute shitload of toys. All stacked out. Guaranteed people would have been nicking them. Kids would have been running off with them. There was not enough of them to fucking keep watching. But anyway, way overpriced. So I finished there. I got what I got, which you'll see at the end. And I have a little walkies uh, up the markets. And I uh, noticed these videos. I found some VHS. I think they wanted basically fuck all for them. But they were crap. They were crap and not worth my time. Uh, same old shit. I'm not going to sell sp Spirit the Horse and Toy Story 1 and Jungle Book 2. Not worth not worth anything. This one I considered, um, but not worth anything either. Had a little look through the cassette tapes to see if there was anything. Uh, there was a Midnight Oil one. Uh, I just didn't bother with it. Didn't bother looking it up either. Um, just didn't think it was going to be worth anything. The rest of them were all crap, at least it wasn't all Kamal and shit like that. Uh, the rest of it was pretty much all junk. But it's good looking around the markets. It's good looking at crap. And looking what junk you can buy for basically nothing. Monopoly. Everyone sells Monopoly. Looking what junk you can buy for basically, uh, hopefully nothing. A lot of people put their prices up a bit too much. And sell it on eBay and try and make a bit of money. But uh, we took a walk through here. People make their uh, own little p 
personal signs, custom signs made. Yeah, it's a piece of wood, mate, with fucking painting on it. Anyone can do that at home. Found this guy that sold a heap of toys as well. Unfortunately, all his toys were pretty shit. All the Peppa Pigs and the Barbie dolls and the crap like that. That was overpriced and uh, stuff ABC kids would sell. Nothing worth my time. But it was still cool to look around. It looks like he got stuff from the Royal Show and was uh, selling it. There's my bag of shit there while I have a look through all this other crap and um, I should have probably edited that properly. But, uh, yep, yeah, those bins there, nothing. There's some cool Star Wars stuff there, but fuck me, you wanted a bit of money for them as well. Which, come on, man, it's the markets. Put your prices down. Hot dogs getting sold there. So this guy had a heap of toys I sold. Watch this guy in the back with the clothes rack. Watch this guy with the clothes rack. And he breaks it. <laughs> stupid prick. You stupid prick. You've just fucking broken it. <laughs> and the person that was selling was not happy. I had to talk to him later on when I brought some shit off him. He was not happy that he got broken. So this guy had some pretty cool toys. I did buy a Doctor Who toy off him. Um, it looked like he had a lot of shit from uh, op shops actually, but um, that didn't worry me. I still brought some stuff off him because uh, he gave me stuff cheap for a dollar each and a couple of bucks, and uh, and we had a chat about his broken clothesline. But uh, that was all from the uh, markets. Let me show you what I got. All right, that wasn't too bad. I spent sixty bucks. I spent 60 bucks on shit, but I think these figures, I've got some good stuff there, so I'll show you when I get home. Um, I've just driven past a sign saying there's another uh, market up here somewhere, so I'm going to go see if I can find that. It says it was at a high school, so I guess I'll just follow the signs. Um, but I didn't have a dog. I didn't have a dog shit day. I didn't have a dog shit day. Uh, I'll show you what I got. I got some good wrestling figures, some Hasbro's as well. So, all right, we're back. We didn't get any garage sale stuff because I couldn't find it. Couldn't find another markets. Let me show you what I got. I reckon I got pretty good stuff. So I got this Animaniacs uh, little plush toy, still got the tag on it. Got this little sucker for 20 cents, not sure how much it goes for, but I reckon I can get about 10 bucks for that. Pretty happy with that for 20 cents. I got a bag of Mr. Men toys. Um, I think someone had brought this from the op shop as See, it already says five dollars on it. Hey, it was five dollars. That's what you usually pick them up for at the op shop. A whole heap of Mr. Men in there. I've already got a whole heap of loose Mr. Men ones that I want to put together in a package that I haven't uh, listed yet. Mr. Men toys go. I'll get 20 bucks for that easy. I've already got a other heap of Mr. Men toys as well. At the end, I picked up this uh, Donatello Ninja Turtles uh, figure. It's from the kind of the new generation. Um, this one was a dollar. This one, it's in pretty good nick as well, actually, this Donatello. Don't know how much I'll get for it. Maybe about eight bucks, I reckon. But uh, if it doesn't sell, I'll definitely be keeping uh, that for myself for my Ninja Turtle collection. Another one that I haven't looked up yet is this uh, Doctor Who. Uh, this is the first Doctor. Um, I reckon I'll get 20 bucks for this. This was um, one dollar. And uh, this was right near the end from um, the very, very end uh, guy that I saw. And it needs a little bit of a clean up, but it's actually not bad. And it's in real good shape, this figure. So this figure, I'm thinking between 10 and 20. Definitely uh, more than more than the tenner, not no less than ten bucks. But for a dollar, the first Doctor, someone is gonna froth on that. Now I got these mighty I got these mighty duck figures for three dollars each, 
and I'm gonna package them up. I thought it was a little bit rich, the price, but uh, I still paid it because they go for about uh, 10 bucks each. So for $3, if I package them up, um, I can get some all right money, I think. And you, I didn't find too many Mighty Ducks stuff online. This big guy, this big Mighty Duck, uh, he was he was, um, well, that one was $3, and that one was $3, a bit dirty as well, uh, but that sucker there, he was, uh, $6, the Mighty Ducks symbol there. If I could package, um, these guys up, I reckon I can get 30 bucks. so, you know, I spent, um, I spent, what did I spend, 12 um, to turn into 30 bucks, and I reckon it's possible. Uh, they need a good clean up. That was from the big uh, toy lot that we saw at the start. And I'm very disappointed. Uh, got this Donatello, a bit dirty. Got him for $3. Thought he was uh, one of the original 1988 uh, figures. Unfortunately, I just looked on his uh, shell and it says 2008. So this one was a um, remake so not an original but I did get an original and bit damaged for three dollars an original Raphael an original Donatello no swords nothing else very uh, bad condition but who doesn't like a good uh, turtle um, if I can't get good money for these, I will keep these for my own turtle collection. Um, God damn, I'm a hoarder. I fucking buy shit to sell and then I end up keeping it. I probably will end up keeping these for my own turtle collection. But uh, 1988, these two, and this one's 2008 a remake. Unfortunately, it would have been good to put them all together. But that's pretty cool. Turtle time. Now I'm excited, I'm excited about this bag, this bag of figures, $8, now I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's had some 1988 or 87 on the back of them, I'm pretty sure, and I haven't looked it up yet because there's no symbol on there, but I'm pretty sure they are the Monster In My Pocket series, I don't know what series, because they look a little bit different to what I had as a kid. But I'm pretty sure they are Monster In My Pocket. Now, if this is the Monster In My Pocket series, the Monster In My Pocket, now look it up. If you had the whole set, which could be the whole set, I don't know. And if this is the, mon and I'm pretty sure this is the Monster In My Pocket set. If you have the whole set, you can get a hundred bucks hundred bucks every day of the week so fingers crossed this is monster in my pockets eight dollars I was taking the risk because I've been looking for the monster in my pockets I was definitely taking the risk I reckon that's a good buy and uh, if I'm wrong I'm wrong if I'm right I'll be laughing with a hundred bucks in my pocket because these self uh, five to ten dollars each anyway and look how many there is in there so I'm gonna do a lot of research on these now I haven't looked up this one yet but this is a ruddy ruddy piper hot rod this was two dollars this is an old original thumb wrestler uh, it's a 1985 1985 Titan Sports 1985 for hot rod uh, I reckon I can get about 20 bucks for this thumb wrestler just here. Uh, who doesn't like Roddy Piper? Here I got a uh, 1991 Hasbro WWF figure, Shawn Michaels. Whoa, Shawn! Shawn Michaels when he was in the Rockers. Pretty good condition. All his fingers are there. My original one, his fingers are gone. Uh... I can get about $15 for this. Needs a nice clean up, a bit dirty, but I reckon I can get about $10 to $15 for it. I did pay four, uh, but I should make a fair I should make a good bit of coin on this, surely. Um, 
Usually if you can lot Hasbro figures up together, you'll get an even uh, bigger price. Now also from 1991 Hasbro, I've got the Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, yeah. And the Macho Man, he will go for about $20. Oh yeah. Bit dirty, needs a bit of a clean up. Very dirty. But for $4, Hasbro figure, 4 bucks. you cannot knock it back because you can get good money for Hasbro figures. Not all with the Hasbro figures. I don't have this Hasbro figure and I might keep it, the British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith. Uh, all works and all that. He's got a bit of a uh, little dangler hanging from his uh, leg there, but um, good detail. But very, very dirty. Yeah, he's got dags. He's got dags. Uh, very dirty. Um, this one was from the 1991 line as well. Um, I think I'll be keeping uh, the British Bulldog and I'll get him cleaned up. We'll see what he's worth. But um, that was definitely a good find for $4 as well. Alright, second last. This is in really bad condition. This Ric Flair. Uh, this is a WCW 1990 figure but even though it's in bad condition it still sells for twenty to thirty dollars even got the RF on his boot woo uh, yep so as you can see there 19 or oh, is that focusing 1990 WCW very bad condition I'll see if I can clean him up uh, that was four dollars as well um, happy with that buy and I'm sure that will sell. I'm sure some Ric Flair fan will really want that because it's been selling for 20 to 30 bucks online in this type of condition. That's right, 1984 WWF Hulk Hogan figure. These can go up to $100 and I picked this up for $12. It was a lot of money for something that has a lot of marks on it. But if you search online, most of them do. So I'll try and give him a clean up as best as we can. Because when you used to smash these toys together, all the uh, paint and the plastic would come off. So that is pretty damn cool. So that's a damn cool Hulk Hogan figure. If it doesn't sell for more than $50, I'll be keeping it for myself for my Hulk Hogan collection. Um which I'm sure you have seen in the backgrounds on my wall. I can quickly show you now. Hulk Hogan's, Hulk Hogan's, Hulk Hogan's. A lot of Hogan's and a lot of Warriors. Yeah, I've got a good collection. Brother. So yeah, 1984. You can't expect it to be in better condition than that. Happy with that, $12. I want to try and get a hungy. I want a hungy. Alright guys, cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You need to subscribe. Because if I don't get any more subscribers, <coughs> I ain't doing this much longer. I'll still be thrifting, but I won't be doing this much longer. Uh, so, give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs ups help as well. Get other people to click on it and watch. But, um, let me know if you think that I got a good deal of what I paid those Hasbro toys I'm telling you now uh, if you find Hasbro WWE uh, figures don't pay more than five bucks for them um, have a look what condition they are as well but they do sell some of them go for a lot of money especially if they're still in the packets uh, that Hulk Hogan one those 1984 ones those big rubber ones they can go from 20 to 100 to maybe even $200 as well. So always look out for them. Um, I didn't. I did see one biker mice from Mars there. I didn't get it because uh, it was in real bad condition. But stuff like biker mice from Mars and street sharks, get them. You'll get about 20 bucks each for those. Maybe even more for the uh, um, street sharks. You always get more money for those figures and. Um, Mighty Ducks, that's just a stab in the dark. Stab in the dark with the Mighty Ducks. And those monsters in my pocket. Look up the monsters in my pocket. I don't know if you remember 
the monsters in my pocket, but uh, I had them when I was a kid, and fingers crossed they are the proper monster in my pocket line, not some cheap rip-off ship, but it did say 87 on the back of them, so I'm pretty sure if I research, I will get some good money, but I'll keep you updated with that. All right, guys, cheers for watching. Please subscribe. Um, do what the fuck you want, of course, but please subscribe, and... Uh, Hopefully I'll be back with some uh, more thrifting and uh, garage sales and markets. Whatever else I can do. See you.